Hi my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for all of your love and support. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. Keep in mind, he could be a she, she could be a he, the roles could be reversed. This could be past, present, or a future prediction, okay? The bottom of the deck, we have the moon card. Today, there is a new moon in Aries. This is a total um, a solar eclipse, and we're also in Mercury retrograde. So, this is a timeless reading, but... That is just the energy that's surrounding us right now. Some people could be experiencing a lot of stress, fear, anxiety. Um, some people are about to become awakened. I feel like a lot of people are going to become awakened about a lot just collectively. Um, good things, bad things, evil things, just all the things, right? <laughs> Ace of Cups, okay? Make sure that you're loving on yourself, pouring into yourself. I did just do a reading. It was very heavy. Um temperance, self-control, moderation, doing things that bring you harmony, three of wands. There's a situation that's being balanced out. You don't see this coming. I feel like you're being advised right now that you probably should not try to take action in a situation. You need to really allow this situation to play out. Yeah, there's something happening behind the scenes for sure, though. Like, somebody is very stressed out and, and concerned about the outcome in a situation. There is a lot that has been hidden. But this energy is, is being eclipsed out. Okay, let's see. The high priestess. Wow, I'm telling you. Trust your intuition here. There's a lot that has been hidden, though, that is coming out. And again, the Nine of Wands. I feel like for some of you, you have the energy of someone around you. Somebody is, is very concerned with whether or not you know the truth. Either this is someone that you are in a relationship with or I'm even getting for some of you. There's a person that is concerned about whether or not you know that you're supposed to be in a particular like friendship, relationship, or partnership. Um... Some of you also need to know that when it comes to relationships, somebody, does, they know that they are supposed to be with you, okay? And someone here is choosing to be persistent, like they're holding on. This feels like a newer energy though, okay? Please don't be confused because there, there's a lot of you, you have a person from your past that's holding on to you for dear life out of some type of greed and obsession, but you have a person here who is king of swords. They're fair. They're just, they want to move forward. Okay. But see, here's the devil, the nine of cups and the three of pentacles. Someone, there's a very, very greedy, um, energy here that overindulges in a lot. Somebody is, is like greedy and obsessed. I feel with your partnerships, your work, your connections, your, um, I mean, your network is your network. Like somebody is very, um, obsessed with like, who's in your network? Who are you talking to? It, it feels like someone has really been undermining you, undervaluing you. Like somebody feels that the reason why you have wish fulfillment is because you are connected to, so I don't know what this is. Somebody feels like your intuition or your ability to balance something, some of you, somebody could actually be um, making the assumption that you're a part of some type of dark group or secret society, cult coven, or something like that. And that's the reason why you are manifesting abundance. That's really what I'm getting here. Wait a minute. And I feel like somebody is possibly thinking this way because that's probably how they manifest. Like somebody is having a very difficult time with believing that you actually are who that somebody has is having a difficult time with actually believing that you are as powerful as you are. Not as you say you are, but just as you are. 
Somebody is like, no, that's not possible. Somebody cannot believe that you've come into this level of clarity, this awareness, this temperance where you are able to transmute energy. Somebody never, ever thought that this would happen. And this is a group here with the devil and the threat. This is a group of people of a very, very low frequency, very low vibration that could be into some very dark practices. But they, these people, I feel like they... Nine of Cups, that's a lot of emotional energy. These people, they overindulge in the sorrow of others. And somebody here cannot believe that they can't penetrate your aura it, because it's become, I mean, the temperance and the high priestess, like, that's extremely powerful energy. Your energy, your psyche, your crown your wisdom, everything is so, so protected. And I feel like this is this is what has come in. Like, like the ships have come in where you have stepped into this power or you're stepping into this power and you have this group of people that's like, there's no way. There's no way. Somebody, I, I'm telling you, somebody just, they, they're refusing to believe that this is your actual energetic signature. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody definitely told a lie and was very much invested in lying, saying that you are not who you are. Justice. Seven of Pentacles here, Justice. The Lovers, the Ten of Swords, wow, and the Six of Cups. Four of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> What more is there to say? Again, there's an energy of somebody here. It's somebody knows your your energy. They know the essence of of who you are. They know it. And that's the reason why you have this energy seven of pentacles here, nine of wands. There's somebody that's not going to leave you. They're not going to betray you. This is a soulmate. It's going to be a friend, a family member, whomever, whoever this is. This person, they're very fair. They're fair. They're, they're clear about how they want to move forward. And they feel like there should be justice in this connection. Some of you, this is even like a spirit guide, an angel. They won't leave you. There's an energy of presence. It will not leave you. There's a person calling me right now who I haven't talked to probably in about a year. A Libra. Maybe it's an omen. It could be a significance to somebody. And I say that because the justice card is here. And the lovers. You have Gemini energy out here. Cancer and Libra. Pisces. For me, high priestess is Pisces and Scorpio. Temperance, Sagittarius. The devil, Capricorn. Ten of Swords and the Six of Cups, though, and the Four of Swords. There's something from your past. There's a major betrayal that I feel like there's had to be this deep, deep healing in order for you to have happiness. There's like this presence that's here, like Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. All I can say is like you're being prepared for some and, and someone's tactics, all this hard work they did to hold you back, it didn't work. You're still going towards a, a celebration here. This is a celebration, like I said. Wow, look. Three of Cups, the Hierophant. Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, the Sun. I'm telling you, like, 
you're going towards like true wish fulfillment here. And it cannot be stopped. It's 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 interesting because like even the way I'm laying the cards, it's like a lot of different moving pieces here. It's one big puzzle and it's all coming together. You have somebody here in your energy, they're not going anywhere. Like they're they're here to stay. They're not, they won't leave you, they're not going anywhere. This could be a person, this could be a spirit guide, angel, ancestor, whatever. But they're not going anywhere. But then you also have this group or this person that's attached to a group. These people have worked very hard to keep you held back. This could be friends or family. Remember I said sometimes it's like your network is your net worth. Some of you, you have so many people around you that are just, that they're overindulging in things. Somebody out here could um, deal with alcoholism. This alcoholism has possibly led to somebody working very hard, somebody who worked very hard and has security, somebody has lost everything or they're losing a lot because of some type of bad habit and or addiction. It just feels to be honest, like somebody literally has lost themselves. Like somebody has lost themselves and lost many things that are actually of value in their life because they became so obsessed we're trying to stop you from having a, a blessing to occur in your life. Uh, it's all these different moving pieces. But still, what's at the, the center is, what's coming in is... The temperance and the high priestess. This is also someone balancing feminine and masculine energy, light attributes and shadow attributes. Like you're you're balancing your feminine and masculine, like your light and shadow. It's all coming together, helping you to become like this extremely powerful alchemist. So it's like you've embraced the darkest parts of yourself. This is somebody becoming like a very powerful alchemist. But, and I feel that this has come as a result of an, a like, <laughs> this spiritual attack that somebody has, I can't even find the word to describe it, but. It was very strong, very heavy. This is traumatic. It's like whatever this traumatic experience is in your life or this spiritual attack, it was supposed to completely destroy you. It was supposed to lead you to the Ten of Swords. Instead, it made you very, very passionate about like standing up for yourself. And this is opening you up now to creating like this life. You're becoming passionate now about creating all of this happiness in your life. And you have this mental clarity now. It just seems like you, yeah, the will of fortune. You didn't run from your own shadow. You didn't run from your own demons. You had to face your demons in order to fight a demon. It's like there was... <laughs> And, and, and I say this, and some people are af afraid of it or get it, but like literally the things that are manifesting in your external environment, it stems from somewhere internally. When you stop being afraid of your own demons, you can face them. 
if you can face your own shadow, your own demon, then there's there's no demon from 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 the lowest pit of hell that can actually scare you. To actually heal from a situation means that you have to go through it, relive it, and let it break you down to your core. When you start doing that yourself, there's no person that can come from your past with any type of tactic to scare you because most people are afraid of reliving the pain. When you decide yourself that I will relive that pain in order for me to get like out of pain, a person can't throw pain to you anymore that you've already faced more than once. This is you choosing not to get burned twice by the same flame. Judgment, see? You call judgment on this situation. Whoever this reading is for, you should be very, very, very proud of yourself. There's the King of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. And here's the Ten of Pentacles. This is action. The King of Wands is action. This person, they're, they're, they're looking out. They're looking out in the world. They want to produce the Ace of Pentacles. This offer is falling right into your lap. Ooh, and it leads to the Ten of Pentacles. And somebody out here is so upset that their power, their authority, their abilities, even their hidden abilities, it could not trap you. It could not delay you. Somebody made sure that like they used their power, their authority. Somebody used their, somebody used their network to try and hide you confuse you. I'm hearing eliminate you. Hangman. They took action to do this shade. Oh my gosh. To do this shading. Seven of Swords, the Magician and the Death card. Oh my gosh. This could have possibly even been like death magic. Somebody worked. with. They collaborated. This is what they do on their network. And it, it, it seems, I, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to tell you how I'm saying. It seems like somebody was under the impression that y'all were on the same team. Meaning, this is somebody who, like, for instance, this is somebody who does, let's say, magic. They figured that your manifestations were coming from some type of magic as well. It's like somebody used Somebody tried to take you down with something that you despise of and that you're heavily protected from. This is a total misread of energy or your energy has just changed so drastically because it does feel like this is something that has happened to you more than once. You've been targeted by a person or a group more than once. And whatever they've done, it, it has worked in some way. But now something has changed. You've been infused energetically with something. There's a different layer of, of protection or of knowing of wisdom that you have Whatever this is, it, it, it could, yeah, seven of wands, it was blocked. So somebody's death magic or whatever this was, was blocked. The knight of wands, look, 
Five of Wands. This is somebody rushing in, like competing with you, or rushing in quickly, impulsively to create chaos and conflict. Man, when I tell you, whoever this is, I bet they wish they never would have done this. Because all it did was it, it has accelerated something in your life. Now, the King of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Cups. If somebody was trying to hold you back from, from a relationship or a partnership, this is when people say, whatever you do, To me, like I'm gonna get it back tenfold. This is you getting something that was meant to destroy your life. This, whatever this is, it was automatically returned back to somebody, but it wasn't only returned, it was transmuted into something like over the top, crazy, beautiful for you. You got the ten of swords, the ten of cups, the ten of pentacles. This is an alchemist. Something was alchemized. Where like, I'm talking all of the energy. Some of the, the most dark, nasty, bad energy, magic, or whatever that somebody said. It was all turned into full love, light. I mean, man, prepare, prepare to celebrate. Oh my gosh, the star. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. There is like the divine is giving you an offer that it just, the entire world, the entire universe, everything opens up to you. Love comes in, abundance comes in. Everything opens up. All because of this alchemy and transmutation. I'm seeing this show. My, it's like the alchemy of your heart just transmuted every bit of pain, sorrow, everything that has been thrown at you. Can you imagine? Like you being overwhelmed entirely with pain and all of a sudden it's all poured like just turned into purpose and, and prosperity for you because that's what this is and it's because somebody here never stopped so like I said, I said somebody like they're never leaving. This could be you though. No matter how many warfare, it's like you got knocked down nine times, you stood up 10. No matter how, this could be something that's been going on for seven to nine years, maybe even more. You just kept investing. You kept moving. You kept going. With, with all the, this is blood sweat and tears that have gone into something but but you know what I'm, it's like too you've partnered you've gone into this partnership okay i see what this is too i see i see okay some of you this is something you've done spiritually and I'm not going to say what it is because it's your secret weapon, but I see what it is. And whoever this message is for, you know what it is. It's something that you've done spiritually. With your spiritual practice, whatever it is. You have, <laughs> you've gone into a partnership, into a covenant that is leading you out of this darkness and protecting you. Mm. 
anything else. I'm, I don't want to, um, yeah, you're free. The fool. Free as a bird. Page of cups. You get to start over. Your emotional, your emotional journey um, in life, it gets, like, you literally get to start over. This is a total cleansing, clearing, a purification for many of you, like, of your heart chakra. Like, all of your sorrow is being eclipsed out. The page is like childlike energy and the fool's journey. Literally, you start over. You start your fool's journey as a child. You start your fool's journey as a child who has the wisdom, though, of a high priestess. You're going back. Back to one. You're going back to who you were before... Anything ever tainted, tormented you at all. Before any training, before any trauma, you're going back to that place. Meaning you have a childlike wonder. God loves those who are childlike. And to be childlike means that your heart has to be as light as a feather. So, when judgment came, oh, okay. And I did just see the two of pentacles, but I didn't pull it. Queen of Swords and the Tower. Somebody tried to swap something with you. Oh my gosh. I see it now. I see it. I see it. I see it. Something about these scales here. The Two of Pentacles and the Justice card. The scales of balance. But see, what was placed on the, the Justice scales was the heart. Your heart was as light as a feather. Somebody else's was not. But somebody tried to judge you, condemn you, convict you, frame you, hurt you, harm you, whatever. But see, in spiritual court, everything is weighed by your heart. The evidence holds no weight to the heart on that scale. Somebody tries to create a lot of evidence to prove a, a case as to why you are not supposed to receive something in your life. But when you stand before God and your heart goes on the scales, your heart was as light as a feather. There is no way. Here a judgment that you cannot receive your own spiritual inheritance. There's no way. That's this this universal karmic law. And somebody here was 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 trying to cause this tower in your life. If everything was, was being directed towards you for some type of sabotage or failure. And now, Five of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Five of Pentacles. Look at this. What did I just say? Everything that somebody sent towards you, or everything that somebody tried to, I'm getting, somebody tried to attach so much darkness to you. 
because what they wanted was upon judgment day, they wanted your heart to be heavy. But look at that. Five of Pentacles, three of swords, eight of swords. Oh, five of cups, five of swords. Oh my God. Is that five, five, five out here? Five of Pentacles, three of swords, eight of swords. This is all about money, security, stability, and the mind, emotions. Somebody was literally playing with a person's mind. And they sat back to watch to see with this faithful, humble, loving, nurturing, caring person, will all of this stuff hit you at once? These people sat back and watched to see was this going to hit? This is like, boom. Like somebody sent these energies out towards you like, okay, literally, go do this. And it blew up. Six of Pentacles, there's a scale, those scales again. What they sent out. Still, it didn't work. Every, after everything they sent towards you, your scale is still lighter than theirs. You just, you don't, the way you transmute and alchemize darkness. It can never make your heart so heavy that you will face the type of karma of your enemies. This is somebody here. You never, ever stop believing in love. You never stop believing in partnership. You never stop believing in being fair. Justice, King of Swords. Somebody here is a, like a, a spiritual judge. There is a spiritual judge assigned to your case. If you're not the spiritual judge, and it was simple, put their heart on the scale. Simple, case closed. Let's see a little bit of a backstory. I told you, you're in an alliance with somebody. Somebody saw that you were trapped. There's there, there's a, a loyal person or, or something here. Um, You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> you can read like the story of Joseph in the Bible. When I saw this confinement card, this is what it reminded me of. So it, it does remind me of Joseph because remember, I said, it's something here about your wisdom. Somebody's like, there's no way. So you could be a person. Wow. So don't tell me that you're somebody like, maybe you're a prophetic dreamer. You're a psychic medium or something like that. It's like somebody tried to crucify you for your gifts, but your gifts has found you great favor elsewhere. And I think I said this earlier. This could be your own family. And just like in the Bible, eventually your family will have to look you in your face. You will not be the same person, but they will be the same because they have not changed. But you have. You're a leader. I'm here. To, you're a prophet. Who has the power. 
to help them or to hurt them. But you choosing to always help. Even when you could hurt or harm a person is the reason why. You're always protected. So it's like Joseph from the prison to the palace. Joseph went from being in prison to interpreting the dreams Wow. To literally becoming like the right hand man to, was it a king or pharaoh or something? Something like that, right? So it's like literally you go from being in prison, right? To being in an amazing partnership or an alliance with somebody that Send you into a season of being a great leader. And all the people who turned against you, you will meet them again. They will cross your path again. This right here is for sure. There was some type of ritual done. Somebody came up with an idea to, bu to bully you. And to possibly do a ritual on you. That's what's out here. This for some of you is a lover, an ex-lover or a family member, somebody here who somebody is threatened by the idea of you going into a contract, a commitment, a connection, or even a marriage because they felt like this was going to be a loss for them. You have here trap and evidence. Yeah, somebody is stuck. They can't get out of this. This collaboration card here, this is now you have collaboration, sweetheart, and memory. You're about to go into a union or reunion with some, someone and there's going to be unconditional love and it brings about like actual unity. Yeah, a lot of, oh, good luck. Oh man, some of you are about to start a beautiful family. Like you were being trained and developed to be a great leader or some of you a prophet or something like that. This has something to do with like your spiritual life or religion. And these people, remember I said these people who were overindulging, remember the three of pentacles here and the nine of cups, here they are. This group, of three or more, this this coven or whatever, they, they're very sorry for what they've done. They're sorry. Or they will be. They will be very sorry for what they've done. And if, and, and if they see any signs right now of you moving into this happiness, trust me, they're very sorry and afraid because they already know. With the karmic laws and, and universal law of... The, the scales of, of justice and balance here, nothing here weighs out. Like, all of this karma has to fall on them. All of it. This is a group of people that did some type of ritual on you to ensure that, like, you didn't go into a, a connection or a relationship or whatever. For some of you, it's family, friends, ex-lovers. For some of you, all of the above, but whatever. It doesn't... These people are going to be very, very so sorry for what they did. Very sorry. If, I'm, if they're not feeling it already. Because judgment is here. Let me see. Did get... Okay. 
Like in the story, jo Joseph was hated by his brothers. They were very jealous and envious of like his gift. They literally like <laughs> caused him to be a slave. Then he ended up freaking in, in jail. And because of his ability to interpret dreams for people in jail, even those people, or one of those people, and it was two people, I think, they they forgot about him. All he asked for was that, you know, <laughs> some somebody would help him. They forgot until the king or whomever needed a dream interpreted. And he was able to interpret the dream. And he literally became a great leader. This is somebody, your gift, a talent or an ability that you have been judged, criticized, ostracized, tormented, bullied about is making space for you in a place that you could never match. And again, just like in the with, with the story of Joseph, his brothers, he had to, he tested them. They had to come back to him. He recognized them. They didn't recognize him. This, this does tell you that these people, nothing in their life is changing while everything for you is changing. He still gave them food. He still ensured that his family was able to survive famine and, and everything else that was happening. They were, they were protected by him and his gift that got him into being a great leader and respected. That's what I'm saying. Some of you, you're paving the way for your family, but your family, they have completely kicked you out. People in your community, friends, they have completely ridiculed you, kicked you out. Only for you to go and still have love in your heart for all people. This is your pathway. Distant horizons. Yeah. Some of you, it's like you're traveling so far away from your friends and your family or you already have. They can't believe who you... Look at that. I, this could be about a, a mask in here. These people, they cannot believe who you've become. There could be a mask out here specifically. You had a false person in your life. This person thought that they could call judgment on your life and, and strip you of all security and stability. Somebody calls, I'm picking up a strong masculine here. Somebody has caused a man, possibly, it doesn't have to be a man, it could be man or woman. But even in this car, you see this man. Somebody did some heavy, heavy spell work or something to a man who is destined for wealth to stop, to literally stop all of this person's blessing. This person has gone down a journey of being in despair, having job loss, possibly facing poverty. Somebody here has possibly served jail time, like all types of just injustices and unfairness in somebody's life, all because Somebody got upset with them. This is a woman who did this to a man, possibly. And if this man is, is connected to a divine feminine, this energy has affected not only this man, but also the divine feminine because they're contract together. Remember I said like, this is two becoming one. I want you to notice something here. You have the three of wands. Man, woman, God. You see here, this is two people becoming one and this huge angel. You have the high priestess here. You see here, it's like two, like these two pomegranates here and then this one right here in the center. This is a connection here. For some, there is a connection and God is at the center of it. It's highly protected. But the... The spell work, the root work, or whatever that somebody placed either over this feminine or this masculine, or for some of you, somebody did both. You could be coming into union with somebody and both of you have exes or friends or family or whomever. There has been so many attacks on this particular 
person or relationship. Some of you are connecting with um, specifically like a masculine. The calling on this person's life is the reason why this person seems to be confined and in so much bondage. There's a false person in their life that did this. And whoever this false person is, they hide behind religion. This is a witch in the church who did this. I, I, I'm, I'm certain of it. This is a witch who is planted in the church who did this. That's the reason why this goes undetected. Somebody is sorry now for whatever offering they made, whatever deal they made to do this. Because somebody did something to cover up a person's, um, what is, like some, some, there was something over, a, somebody was cloaked in an energy that was attracting nothing but poverty. And there was for sure death magic that was being done. Somebody could have even been trying to do death magic also so that a person would turn back and go to a person, go back to a person. This is a scorned lover who did this to somebody. So I don't know for whoever you, you are watching, you could be this masculine or you could be connected to this masculine. Like a masculine could be a, a male or female, but whoever you are, this is either your story or you are connected to somebody that has gone through this. And if you're connected to this person, especially if it's a um, someone that you're supposed to have some kind of partnership with, whether it's business or romantic, this has affected everything between you and this person. I, I feel strongly like it is romantic because I'm getting all these cards here of children. Somebody, yeah. Somebody got information on a person's future. And they saw marriage, commitment, wealth, abundance. They saw things coming in that they wouldn't be a part of. And they, they definitely did some type of spell work or something. Not only did they do this to this main person that they're connected to, but they also did things to try to bully anybody else that this person was connected to or to you or you. So this could be someone has targeted you. They're targeting everybody around you. Or you're connected to somebody with a great calling over their life. Because someone has targeted them, it has affected you too. Bad health. Thief. There's a person, occupation. Someone here is a professional thief. They're a scammer. Schemer, scammer. They professionally steal. And they, they possibly do this spiritually. Oh, this also could be a practitioner. There's a practitioner here who tries to steal people's energy, their wealth, their gifts, or whatever. This is what they do as an occupation. They, they cause changes in people's health. Remember I said whatever this is, it seems like it's traumatic. Somebody really had it out, either for you or somebody you're connected to. They were trying to affect your health, possibly your mental health. They want you to just have bad health. Death, bad health in your finances, your relationships, everything. Somebody does this as a as for work, as a job. This is a practitioner who is claiming to be religious, though, that did this. This is somebody who I feel sure this person is in the church. 
but because of their jealousy and envy of someone's natural talents and or God-given talents and or abilities. Child. Somebody really has a problem. Yeah. Somebody here has had a gift since a child. Whoever this person is, though, this this has rage war on you. Both of you have gifts. This is just somebody, though. They receive somebody here has had the gift, like a psychic or prophetic gift since a child. Whoever it is, you and this person. This is somebody battling against you who has the same gift or they have gifts this person received a download though that you have a courtship that is headed that that's gonna lead towards sudden wealth look family room and marriage with an official person when this person got this download or someone went to a reader or practitioner and they got this information they they went all in and trying to destroy you see, this is changing because whoever had to face poverty is about to receive unexpected income. The, the final judgment is in. That someone here is innocent. They did nothing. Whatever this situation is, though, this could have been a breakup or separation or divorce or something that went bad. It's like somebody walked away from a situation. Somebody just walked away. They didn't fuss. They didn't fight. They didn't argue. The other person was very upset. And they went to the extreme in trying to destroy a person's life. Not because the person, the other person did something bad to them. This person is mad that the other person did not fight for them. I hope I'm, I hope you understand. So let's say let's say two people break up, and somebody's like, "You get out, you leave." Right? I'm gonna say the woman tell puts a, a guy out. The guy leaves. He's like, you know, don't don't worry about it. He goes and he's like, you know, here here's the paperwork. Here's the the final money on on whatever expenses there 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 that's left. Here is money for the kids. Here's the key back. They go on. Somebody is so upset that a person walked away with dignity and honor and held integrity and did not feed into this drama that they went and they probably went to a reader or they have gifts. When they saw that this person was leaving and they were going into something that was bringing them the same fortune or abundance, if not more, this person was like, absolutely not. I'm going to destroy. Somebody literally decided, I'm going to destroy your life. And I feel like even after this destruction happened, Somebody still took the high road. They was like, you know what? It's, it's cool. This is like somebody saying, you know, after they leave, the other person's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get you fired. This person still, they, somebody here never, ever retaliated against somebody. They never retaliated against them. They, they took the high road. I promise God is going to reward you. Like, I don't care how long. This has probably been something for some of you that has lasted maybe two to three years. The rewards that are coming into your life are going to be, I mean, it's bigger than anything you've imagined. And it's all because God sat back and he saw you take the high road or this person. That some of you may be connected to. Somebody tried to destroy a person out of pure just madness, anger, malice, jealousy, envy, or whatever, and a person never, ever retaliated or anything. 
Wow. That's powerful. And that's why the temperance card is that type of wisdom. This is a lot of wisdom. This is a lot of wisdom. This is a lot of faith. This is a lot of self-control. Somebody did not. Somebody recognized that a person was overindulging. Somebody could have even done something while they were under the influence. This person was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to fight back. It's just like Joseph in the Bible. He sat there in prison. I think what for like two years or something. There was nothing he could do. He 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 never was supposed to be in any of those situations. Every bad situation he was in was due to the fact that his family sold him because of their envy, his own brothers. Every bad situation he went into was because of somebody else. It was never because of him. But in every situation, he chose to be good. He chose to be optimistic. He chose to still help his enemy. Wow. And that's all in having like unwavering faith in yourself, in God. That's how you get to lead. And this is what I was just talking about recently. Even after me returning to YouTube, I see all this like chaos in here and even the YouTube. And I'm just like, uh, I'm not about to, uh-uh. Don't, don't, don't get yourself involved in that drama. Take the high road. It's going to pay off every time. Because when it's time, when judgment day comes, you have to put your heart on that scale. The heavy heart wins. I'm sorry, the heavy heart loses every time. And you have a heavy heart when you go out and you carry all this bitterness, this jealousy, this resentment, and this anger for the things that have been done to you that you can't forgive as well as the things that you've done to other people. Mm. Somebody here, you have something so beautiful coming. Either this is you have you you're you're the person that's receiving this justice and vindication, or you're connected to somebody. Look at this. You are a powerful light worker. Manifestation power. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. And use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Yeah. When you're a leader, even in the prison, you're still a leader. It doesn't matter where you are. You're a leader. Nobody can take that from you. You have an ability to manifest, an ability to transmute, an ability to be an alchemist. You're the high priest, like, and therefore you can shield yourself. You have your solar plexus, chakra, workshops, seminars, books. Some of you, you may enjoy going to seminars, workshops, books, learnings, learning things, or there's something that you will do. You, you could be clairvoyant, a medium. I'm telling you, somebody was out to really prove you wrong and say that you were not something or somebody, honestly, that it's not that a person could say that you don't have these gifts. Somebody was just very envious of them. This is somebody who has gifts too, but they use and abuse their gifts. Maybe their gifts are not as strong as yours, whatever it is. Somebody had it out, but they, they had help in doing this. This was a group of people, a group of friends, family, 
or somebody went to a particular community or group to do this, whatever. From the prison to the palace. <laughs> I hope this resonated. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always go with and so that you never go without. I love you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.